Okay, this is a bolo. These are called book chain. Do you see that chain on the back? So those are, these kind of bracelets or necklaces are highly desirable slash collectible. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller. I have a ton of inventory though, you guys. I was, it was really starting to hit me as I'm like pulling orders um, for the weekend. I already pulled the jewelry just to get ahead of everything. But I was like, man, I have a lot of stuff. But anyways, that's how, that's what's great about reselling is like you can build your inventory at your pace and then as your inventory grows, your income grows, the more work you put into it, the more money you get out of it. And now it's kind of just like a steady thing. Like if I list a certain number, I'm getting a certain number of sales every day, which is like, I feel like I'm at a good spot as far as my income goes to supplement our income for our family. Anyways, I said all that to say that we have weekend orders going out. This has been another typical weekend, um, not like a really high sale weekend and not a really low sell sale weekend, but I did sell um, like more scarves and hats and things like that than I normally do. So yeah, let's go get those orders. I already pulled shoes, I already pulled jewelry, and I already pulled accessories over there. If you guys are new to my channel, this is my inventory room here with belts and shoes and shoes hanging from the ceiling and shoes on racks and things like that. Um, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Welcome. Hello. And I have all my jewelry in these cabinets here. So yeah, when we first we're looking for houses. I was looking for a workroom. So my workspace is over here and um, a space that would hold enough inventory. So this is definitely working out well for me. And I think I have about 3000 items listed. Okay, so let's do shoes first since they are right here. Okay. I've had these forever. I'm pretty sure I picked them up at the Goodwill bins. And sometimes when I'm at the Goodwill bins, I do not look up brands. If they feel like good quality, I'll, I will take a chance. Well, this was not a chance worth taking. <laughs> so these are some Alex plus Alex shoes. They do say made in Spain and that's why I picked them up. Size 41. These sold on Mercari with free shipping. So $25, I paid shipping, making my earnings $17.48, and I paid around $2. I need to go grab these two sandals, I forgot. So we can go grab those together, actually. Woo, because they're in the same spot. These are some Loeffler Randall boots. You guys can see right here, the logo is right there, if it will focus. Um, and these I picked up when I was doing the Bolo Buddies challenge, the Bingo at the Bins challenge, and these sold on Poshmark for $40. This is a Bolo brand to look out for, and I picked them up at the Goodwill Bins for around two. Echo shoes have totally gone downhill for me. They're still really well made, um, very, very comfortable. A lot of times they have wide sizing so that's really desirable for a lot of people but these finally sold on Poshmark for $36 and I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for around two and also Echo, Eco, whatever you want to say, they have um, a sizing that is a little bit off of like typical European sizing so make sure you are checking the eco brand sizing chart when you're um, converting it from 
the European to the US size because for instance, these are size 41, which would be around a size 10, but in like an Echo woman's shoe, they might be a nine or nine and a half. Um, so it's a little bit off. Okay, here are some Donald Pliner shoes that I've had forever. These are the Dino Donald Pliner Couture or something. Maybe it's just um, Donald Plier Pliner signed right there, but made in Italy. The These are like the more vintage style Donald Pliner that do not sell very well. The newer trendy styles do a little bit better. These sold for $18 and I got them at the Goodwill Bins for around two. They sold on Poshmark. Um, but Donald Pliner shoes have like this scuba lycra material, which I think would be really comfortable. But yeah, they just do not move quickly at all. All right, here are some Keen Women's Flint hiking shoes. If you see Keen hiking shoes, take them, or take a second look at them. They typically do well if they're in pretty decent shape. These are, these sold for $52 on Posh and I picked them up at the Goodwill for $12.99. These I had in a recent haul. These were in a Goodwill bins clothing bin. When you guys went shopping with me that one day, these are new without tags and these sold on Poshmark for $33 and I paid around two. Let's go grab these torrid sandals and camper sandals. So maybe it was one or two weekend videos ago. I sold the blue camper sandals and here are the brown ones. These again sold for $34.99. The blue ones also sold for $34.99 and I got them both at the Goodwill bins for $6.99 each. And the torrid sandals I picked up at the Goodwill bins. Here they are, Torrid. And Torrid is also known for having bigger and wider sizes. So I do like picking up Torrid shoes. I think I've sold almost all my Torrid shoes, if not all of my Torrid shoes. So I'm going to bring these back to my shoe section. I have empty bags right there because I went through my jewelry because we had um, a trivia night where we had to dress up like we were on a cruise. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go through my jewelry. So I got a bunch of cruise-like jewelry. Anyways, these sold for $26 on, hmm, on eBay. I always, usually always pay shipping on eBay and I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for around two dollars. All right, let's go travel, travel, travel. I have this empty box here just so that I can easily package these up. If you guys are wondering why I have random carpet squares, I picked these up at the Goodwill bins one day um, just so that when I sit down like this and I'm pulling orders, it is not, I'm not sitting on the concrete floor and it is warm and comfortable and I have the concrete squares over there as well. Okay, let's get into the jewelry. Okay, this is a bundle order on Poshmark. I love selling jewelry bundles on Poshmark. People were um, making bundles a lot this weekend but only a couple people actually sent me offers or offers that I accepted. There was one that was like, they had put almost all my cufflinks um, that I had in a bundle and then offered me like $75. I countered offered, you know, I think I was countering at like a pretty decent percentage off, but they never accepted the latest offer. So um, yeah, anyways, this one, was a bundle of this wheat chain necklace right here, like a vintage wheat chain. And if you're ever like wondering what style chain it is, twisted chain, box chain, rollo chain, 
whatever, um, just literally type in styles of chains and then click images on Google and a lot of different chain styles will come up for you. <clears throat> so there is that one and this is a sterling silver locket. There we go. This little locket. I believe I got both of these things in a shop good old lot. I'm also going to include this like silver tone chain just because in case they wanted to buy the chain to go with the locket, uh, this chain is not going to fit that locket. So I'm going to give that little chain to them. And this chain right here is marked 925 on the clasp, but when I tested it, it did not test as sterling. So I did not list it as sterling. And it sold, these things sold for $30 on Posh and I paid around $2. Here are some more cufflinks that sold. These sold for $14.99 full price on eBay. They are swank and cufflinks are usually marked on the inside bars right in there. And I picked these up in an antique lot where I bought a ton of cufflinks for like $150 and then each pair slash like pair of cufflinks slash pin slash tie clip was around three dollars each so I've been slowly selling those and I almost have sold every single piece that I have listed okay this you guys are going to see in my upcoming video this is a brooch that I just listed and sold hmm, maybe within 24 hours this is glass but made to look like agate or stone and when I Google lensed it, a bunch of these brooches were coming up as miracle Celtic brooches. And I was like, okay, um, I don't think mine's signed. Well, when I looked, it is signed right in that inner circle, miracle. It kind of looks like part of the texture. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing it that well, but it's on this side right here. Um, and it is signed Miracle. So I was like, okay, that's what it is. And it sold right away for $17.99. And I paid around a dollar in a shop, in that shop go to a lot that is, I'm editing right now. Okay, this was a D-list relist. These were a pair of um, purple bangles. I just don't do well with bangles, honestly. So I just D-listed, relisted it. And these sold for $10 on eBay, and I got them probably in a jewelry jar for like 50 cents. This was a D-list relist on Vendu. Again, my link is down below if you guys want to go ahead and try out Vendu for yourself. I highly recommend it. But I used the D-list relist on this one as well. Sold on eBay right away. It's like an artisan copper, um, really pretty bangle sold for 11 and I got that one in a shop good a lot. Again, <laughs> D-list, relist. These are some textured purple enamel bangles. I was like so glad that these have have sold because I've had them forever. Anyways, these sold for 9.99 on eBay and I got them in a jewelry jar as well for like 50 cents. Okay, this is a bolo. These are called book chain. Do you see that chain on the back? So those are, these kind of bracelets or necklaces are highly desirable slash collectible. So I had gotten a lot of orders and attention and questions on this um, bracelet and some other book chain type jewelry that I have. So definitely look, look, for that and if you want to see more examples just type in book chain jewelry and then that would pop up for you just so that you can become familiar with that I think book chain jewelry is like older like I think it's like pre art deco possibly um, don't quote me on that but definitely a bolo this one sold for $40 on eBay and I got it in a shop Goodwill lot. Okay, this one I believe I got in a um, shop Goodwill lot as well. This one is a 
Chico's 30th anniversary necklace. I love getting big statement Chico's necklaces because sometimes they sell for like $70. This one sold for $28, which is still a great profit. Um, and yeah, and it will look better on the screen. Okay, here we have this sweet little Samantha um, necklace and it is gold filled. So it is marked B-A-S um, B A S C H for Jane Bosch. And then it also says 12 karat gold filled. So a lot of Jane Bosch jewelry is priced up, but because this is marked Samantha, I did take a best offer of $35, which I think is fantastic. And I really like these sweet little cuts that is in the metal because it makes it shimmer a little bit. A lot of vintage jewelry does do that. Sold on Mercari and I got this one in a shop good a lot. All right, we're gonna shout out to a viewer who bought this. Thank you, Debbie, you <laughs> bought these little guys that I've had forever. And I thought they were really neat but they're actually a little bit more common than I thought. Um, so these are like new, maybe no new old stock, but they convert stud earrings into clip-on earrings, which I thought was super cool. The reason I know these are old is because these still had free shipping on them. So she paid $9 and I paid shipping, making my earnings $5.19. And yeah, I probably paid less than 50 cents in a jewelry jar a long time ago. And I wanted to give Debbie a shout out because she told me she was a viewer and that is awesome. So yay, thank you so much, Debbie. Okay, let's travel, travel, travel. We're just getting this whole video done in one take. This is great. Okay, so I have my belts over here and scarves, hats, purse. So we have a whole myriad of things going on over here. Oh. And here's another bundle. So this was another bundle on Poshmark. It was this universal thread orange belt that I got at Deals for Days for a dollar and a Dickies men's leather belt. I do still pick up Dickies if it's like a higher quality feeling leather, usually at the Goodwill bins, but this bundle sold for $17 on Posh and I paid around, around $1.50 for both of them. This is a fossil belt that I just picked up at Goodwill for $2.99. This one sold for $19.99 on eBay. Full asking price, buyer paid shipping. Ooh, this is a Talbot cotton linen Italian leather belt. And this one sold for $24.99. I don't know, this one's very like chic, almost like you could wear it with like a really nice sleek equestrian outfit. I think that this one's really stunning. Even though it's like plain, it's just really, really stylish. Um, almost like vintage looking. And this one sold for $24.99. I got that one in the, in a, in the Goodwill bins for less than 50 cents. Okay. This is a purse, a vintage purse, that sold for $19.99. This was a D-list relist. It's just a navy blue ribbed fabric um, purse, and I got it in the Goodwill bins for around a dollar. Here are a couple scarves, and I believe I got both of them at Goodwill for $2.99 each. This is a Steve Madden scarf. I think it's new with tags. Yes, it is. So there's the tag and that's why I picked it up uh, because it was new with tags and Steve Madden. Um, the shoes do better than the scarves. Well, this is probably the only scarf that I picked up, but it's, I've had it for several months now and it sold for $19.99. So pretty good profit on that. This one also sold for $20 on Mercari, full asking price. And this one is a Lane Bryant scarf and I picked it up because I was trying out Lane Bryant again and it has like these really long beautiful black tassels and it's a very large scarf so I picked that one up 
this hat I got at the Goodwill bins. So probably less than 50 cents and it is Banana Republic. It is just a men's fedora hat with striping um, and it sold for $17.99, full asking price. And then this one right here is a hat that I picked up in, in a shop Goodwill lot. I bought a ton of hats and bolos and buckles so it was kind of like a men's lot and I sell all those things so I was like yeah sure and it had I believe three or four men's trucker hats in that um, lot and if you guys don't know I'm sorry the three stripe trucker hats so if you guys don't know three stripe vintage trucker hats can go for a lot of money I still have one or maybe two I have one for sure that is still listed, and I'll put it up on the screen if I can find it. It is listed for $500, and I'm just waiting for the right buyer because it is humorous and three-stripe and vintage, so and like very Americana type of a hat. So, anyways, this one was part of the hat lot, paid around $2, and it sold for $12. Now this was just, I listed it because it was already in the lot. Same with a few other of the hats. These were kind of like extras um, to what I actually really wanted. But I'm totally in the profit by far. Um, because a lot of, most, most all things sold from that lot already. So I will put my earnings for the belt and accessories up on the screen. And I'm going to go get packing. All right, you guys. I have a lot of packing to do um, today. Uh, yeah, so how are you guys doing? I am feeling it. Living in Wisconsin, my vitamin D levels are getting low and the everyday mama duties and all that stuff, all the sicknesses, all the doctor's appointments, all the everything, it's kind of kind of getting to me. So how are you guys doing this time of year? Send me some positive motivation in the comments down below. I need it. Um, yeah, I will make sure to put my um, total for my weekend up on the screen. Again, this is like my normal average weekend. Um, and yeah, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, thank you for all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Yay, I am over a thousand, which is amazing. And now it's starting to grow a little bit faster. So that is so exciting. Thank you so much. That is awesome. I am now monetized. Yay. So it's really fun to see like, oh, I made a few cents today. You know, it. When you're first starting and you first get monetized, you don't make a lot of money. You make a few cents here and there, but it's still fun to watch. And yeah, if you guys have your own YouTube channel, feel free to link it, link it down below. I have no um, qualms or whatever. If you guys link your own channel down below, I know that some of you guys do. And yeah, go ahead and subscribe to those people that are linking their channels down below. And yeah, make sure you guys are out there listing. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about jewelry, trying to give you guys some encouraging words to just go for it. I started a little bit over a year ago, just went for it. Now I have a giant stash of jewelry <laughs> in my inventory. So just go for it and make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. And I will see you guys in my next video, which I think is a jewelry unboxing video that I'm still working on. All right, you guys. Bye.